night, boys and girls. I'm Frank Hannon from the band Tesla here at the Haight-Ashbury Street Fair, and you are watching Reality Check TV. All right. So, uh, Reality Check viewers, Sacramento and San Francisco. We're at the 39th Annual Haight-Ashbury Street Fair, and we got some uh, celebrity guests backstage. Uh, this young man here oh, plays... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's got to do the rock star thing. There we go. No, this is the Haight-Ashbury thing. The Haight-Ashbury. Oh, that's right, the granny glasses, for sure. Yeah. So this young man plays in a little band called Tesla. Maybe you've heard of him. Pretty good band. Our friend Dave Rude plays in Tesla. We love Dave Rude. Yeah. Frank Hannon's here. What's Hi. Up, man, I am having a great time. Uh, this is... I feel at home here. Yeah. You Fantastic know? day. Yeah. Celebrating no. the life of uh, a great... Paul Kantner, yeah. yeah. Great songwriter and guitarist. And when I was a kid, like... I was just transformed back to 1967 today with when they played White Rabbit I had goosebumps and yeah. I remember how that song just blew my mind when I was little yeah and it blew my mind again today what a great sound and a great yeah. event and we had Quicksilver messenger service who and they and they brought Norman Greenbaum out to do uh, spirit in the sky that was well, mind-blowing it was it was incredible and the vibes were great the, the weather the breeze everything you know yeah, it worked out fantastic I'm just, uh, this is one of the greatest events in Northern California music right here. Well, thank you so much. That's cool. We'll it have is. to have Tesla play, or at least you're, what, you have another band. Well, I have another band. I mean, I love Tesla, and I've had a great career in Tesla, and we're still going strong. In fact, we're going to be at the Shoreline in September. Nice. Um, when I do my That's own, a great package with, with Leopard. Def Leopard are, are our big oh, yeah. brothers, and for, from the 80s, you couldn't ask for a better uh, a friendship sure. band like Def Leopard. You guys uh, did some quite a bit of touring together at one time, didn't you? It's, it's full circle. It's 30 years. 30 years ago, 1986, we released Mechanical Resonance, and we went to Europe, and the guys in Def Leppard sat in with us. Steve Clark and Phil Collins sat in with us because nice. we, we knew all their songs because we were a Def Leppard cover band, essentially. <laughs> you know? And so, um, so we became good friends with them, and 30 years later, here we are. We're celebrating our 30th anniversary. That's so cool. But when I do my solo music, it's a lot more jamming and improvising, you know. It's not unlike what we just heard. Right? Like what we've just heard, you know, the San Francisco sound is a huge influence on me. It's a beautiful day, Grateful, Be grateful Dead, all those bands that experimented, I, I love doing that. So do you, like, so in this band you do, like, some freeform jamming kind of a thing? Nice. Oh, definitely. Yeah, wow. yeah, and yeah. So what is that like for you as a musician? Because in Tesla it's very, much more regimented, right? sounds like a, it's a more of a negative connotation it's, right. it's definitely more structured structured all right. but there's a craft to structure as well sure. consistency right. and songwriting mm -hmm. there's a definitely an art to that that you have to be developed and skilled at and i'm very proud of what tesla does in that genre sure because the lyrics have stood the test of time and and we're, we're consistent every night man it's solid and but I do have to say that jamming and the risk of just improvising and, and playing something that you've never played before. Right, really happy accidents that can occur. Right? That has an appeal to me, too. Sure. So. As a musician, a musician, I imagine so. Yeah, you get yeah. To, you just get to wail, and sometimes unbelievable magic will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I love about the dead, man. Like, like when I'm cruising on a seven, the guys in Tesla think I'm crazy, okay? There's a, I'm, I'm a hippie, okay? I'm a heavy metal hippie. Judas Priest and Grateful Dead are like two of my favorite bands. You mix that together and you've got both, right? Right. So, tie-dye and leather, wear them together. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good one. But, but anyway, I'm stealing that. Judas Priest and Grateful Dead, that's kind of where I'm at. I love metal guitar, but I love jamming. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can go through their, their live shows. And, like, my favorite era is, like, 1972. And you can get like a three-hour show, put it on your headphones, and just drive all the way from Kansas City to Ottawa, Canada, and you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Yeah. yeah. It's so, a natural uh, buzz. So what was it, what's the name of that project? Then? Uh, it's just Frank Hannon Band. Right. And you can go to frankhannon.com. It's my website. All right. And then you have, didn't you have another thing you were doing? I, had a, I ha also have a Jimi Hendrix tribute band. It's called Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Yeah, and I had a southern rock band for a while called Moondog Maine. That's right. That was the one I was thinking of, Moondog Maine. Yeah, I like yeah. that band. That was fun. I'm always exploring different things. Yeah. So, that, I mean, that just shows the diversity of your background, your influences, right? Thanks to my mom. That's my mom right there, everybody. Yeah. There she is. Look how beautiful she is. Smile, Mom. It's easy to see that beauty runs in the family. Hey, you know, and one of these uh, old hippie rockers was hitting on my mom today. All right. 
I think his name is I'm getting uh, some action. David. You know who I might be talking about, I think, David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. David was flirting with my mom. I have to say, <laughs> I didn't say David who. Say it could be who. David Gilmore. Ah, if only. If only. <laughs> so uh, tell me what's coming up. You said there's a there's a Tesla run coming with Def Leppard and REO. That's going to be summertime thing. And then what's happening with Frank Hannon yeah. Band? Frank Hannon, uh, I'm just recording songs right now. And uh -huh. I just wrote a song called Never Slowing Down. Mm -hmm. And uh, we recorded some video of it here today on, oh, cool. on the street at Haight-Ashbury Street Fair. Nice. And we got a lot of great footage and met a lot of cool people. And uh, I'm going to put that video out on my website. So I'll send you a link cool. to it. And I'm going to try to get it done next week. Sounds great. So where do people go to find out more about everything you're doing? Facebook, Frank Hannon, Reality Check TV, anywhere. Uh, yeah. Is there, a, is there a Tesla page? TeslaTheBand.com. TeslaTheBand.com. Yeah, as opposed to the scientist. But. Yeah, Tesla the band, not the car, the scientist. <laughs> and uh, yeah. anything else you want to plug while you're here? No, I just want to plug San Francisco and, and, and the great music that has come out of this city. You know, it's yeah. the San Francisco sound is very impactful, very impactful, revolutionary. I mean, my father-in-law is Dickie Betts from the Allman Brothers. Oh, yeah. and I spoke to him the other day and told him I was coming down here and he was really excited. I mean, great. Only he sleep. could have been here. That would have been great. Yeah, he had a band before the Allman Brothers that was covering Jefferson Airplane tunes. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and they were called The Second Coming. <laughs> and my wife's mom, Dale, uh -huh. she could nail Grace Slick vocals. Wow. And there's a recording of it on the Allman Brothers box set. Oh, shit. Right on. That's little awesome. trivia for you. So little check out the Allman Brothers box set, and you'll hear Dickie Betts and Dale English singing Jefferson Airplane. Fantastic. Well, it's good to see you, sir. Thanks yeah. so much for coming out. Uh, go you. check them out, TeslaTheBand.com. That's uh, every, everything and every, anything you want to know. Thanks for having me, man. Right on.